All right, welcome back to episode number eight of Reviewing Your Customs. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the final four from the DCF Floral Contest. So after we take a look at these four entries, it is gonna be up to you guys to cast your vote and decide who is the winner of the DCF Floral Contest, along with the $350 grand prize gift card to angelusdirect.com. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and check these out. So our first entry comes from Lemon Kissed Customs. Great job on the packaging here. Box and bubble wrap. Really dope packaging overall. I am excited to check these out. All right. Ooh, man. Great A stuff on the packaging and check these out. These stained glass Air Force Ones. These are sick. All right, so just off the bat, this is a really cool color palette along with these burgundy leather laces. Love how these look. All of this texture on the toe box representing that jade stone. So the uh, jade stone over in China is actually the stone of the dragon. And one of the best features of these is if we take a look at that back tab, take a look at how the dragon face just takes up the entire tab. That is so clean. The textures of this stone on the toe box are just absolutely incredible. Look at all of that near marbling of all those different shades of green. The contrast on these is super strong. So on the main portion of the upper, we have a stained glass look along with some cherry blossoms. And one thing that I really enjoy about these is that the outline around the actual cherry blossoms is a little bit thicker, so it almost has this raised feel. If you're familiar with stained glass, you'll know that the outlines tend to be a little kind of 3D-ish, a little bit raised, and that same effect is applied here, so I really dig that. Then also, it's very subtle, but if we take a look at the piping around the edges where the panels meet, rather than it being sort of that lighter tannish color, you went ahead and added more of a dark brown color, not only around the panel that wraps around the toe box, but same thing if we take a look at you know, the swooshes on the inside. Rather than going with that light tan color, I really like that you go with that dark edge here. It really gives these some great separation. Also, when I saw these in the photos, I thought that these little vertical tabs right here had a little bit of a glitter feel to them, but they're actually just painted, and uh, you somehow still achieve this really cool look with all of your dot work there. So love how those turned out. This is just a really strong design overall, and I really dig how the insides of the shoes are mismatched with the outside, where we have more of the jade stone taking up the inner portions, and then the stained glass on the swoosh, whereas it's the vice versa on the outsides of the shoe. So really great job at designing these. That same green texture is then added onto the tongue tags of the shoes. And I really like how these kanji letters turned out. Rather than just going in with straight white, you went ahead and added in some lighters and darker greens to just really give it this built-in feel. Love how these tongue tags turned out too. And then just really zooming in and taking a look at that stained glass effect, I think that you totally nailed it. I definitely get the feel that I'm looking directly through a stained glass window or something like that here. A lot of great shading packed into each of the individual cherry blossoms. One thing that I do think overall could have really helped those outlines, even though I said they look great and they do have a little bit of a raised feel to them, is if somehow the outlines had a little bit more of a gloss to them rather than the rest of the very matte finish you have to the shoe. That could have really helped sell this stained glass look even more. But overall, like I said, the texture work here is just absolutely incredible. Even it feels like this toe box has a little bit of the vignette, darker around the edges. Love how this looks. And I mean, come on, we gotta take one more look at them. That dragon on that back tab, that is so good, so detailed. Love how these turned out. Absolutely phenomenal job, Lemon Kiss Customs. So if you think that these are your winner, be sure to head to that link in the description and cast your vote for these. All right, next up we have a returnee to reviewing your customs. Customs by G. All right, now some of you may recognize these because we had a very similar pair from Gina on these Ash platform shoes come in last time on an episode of Reviewing Your Customs. And last time we were taking a look at some incredible detail packed into your jewel work and all of that is now translated into all of your floral work. These turned out crazy. 
Okay, so I know that these shoes started with a little bit more of a white upper like we had last time, but all of these flowers and these vibrant colors really pop a whole lot more up against this black. So we have some really great, realistic looking orange tulips, red roses, blue daisies. You could see the gold filigree behind them. It is just a great overall design. I really love how you designed the toe boxes of these shoes where we have these daisies just bleeding right off the corners of these toe boxes. And then we have the roses taking up the inner portions of the toe box. And then I just think it's a really smart move to have filigree taking up the background and all of that black and negative space rather than keeping it completely black because filigree is something that you can sort of contort and size up and scale exactly how you want to fill up some of that blank space. Now I think what separates you from everybody else is your ability to just pack so much shading into each of these individual flowers. I mean, the way that you achieve realism is just top notch. I mean, just take a look at that rose. Look at all of that contrast that's packed in there. All of those different hues of red. I mean, this is a thing of beauty. I think if we just take a look at the tulips here, I just absolutely love how you are not afraid at all to really pack in the shading, how closely together we have light and dark colors. I mean, that's what's really gonna make these things stand out. And then here on the insides, it's super subtle, but if we just take a look at the rose next to the daisy, there's just the slightest bit of a drop shadow right behind the rose that is cast onto the daisy. And that just brings that rose forward and it just helps you achieve more depth on these. One thing that I think would have been cool on these, how we have these gold aglets, is if the filigree had just a little bit of a metallic hint to it. Now you wouldn't want the entire thing to be a really bright metallic gold because then the filigree might stand out even more than your really strong various flowers but just a little hint of metallic to that filigree would have been a really great touch and would have looked great with these aglets. But overall, an absolutely phenomenal job, Gina. There is not many better at packing and shading and bringing in realism onto a shoe like this. I really think you're starting to carve out a name for yourself, so great job and keep up the work. Next up, we have a pair from Zach Nielsen out in Oregon. Alright, so we have a pair of tropical tiki themed vans from Zach, and Zach is only 16 years old, and this is a dope pair of vans, man. Alright, so we have a pair of classic all-white vans, old school lows, and I love the design choice to just start off with this really bright canary yellow color, and then these tikis on the toe box, they turned out absolutely insane. And then I think it was a great idea to continue some of that wood print onto the eyelet panels and that classic van stripe. And if we take another look at this tiki, some of your blends are very, very strong here. Great job on that. I also love the subtlety of all of these tiny little skulls scattered throughout, and then we have one larger one on both of the back heels. I also really like how you have some of these vines that interweave behind that van stripe. They come in and out of different flowers, and it's just really playing into the van stripe, so great idea for that. Overall, this is just a super fun pair. You can't help but look at these and just think that this is just a, a great, fun design, super bold, super colorful. I actually think that I probably would have continued that yellow onto the white tongue. Kept the white laces, but I think the yellow would have looked pretty good on the tongue. Also, if there was anything else I could say, I would probably try to tune down the gloss on that van stripe. When we're working with a mainly canvas shoe, we really don't want to give it that painted look. So just trying to dull that down a bit, try to give everything that nice matte non-painted look. But overall, absolutely love how these turned out. Like I said, this is just a super fun, colorful pair. Great job on these, buddy. If you guys are interested, be sure to head that link in the description and cast your vote for these. All right, and our last pair comes from Yumi's Art Box. All right, let's see, let's see. Check these, oh man, the colors on these right away, just right out of the box. The colors, the colors, the colors, the colors of these plumerias are just absolutely beautiful. So we have a pair of van slip-on lows with the entire toe panel along with the little back heel featuring a full bed of plumerias. These are also known as the lay flowers, very commonly seen with the necklaces, part of the Hawaiian culture. Now plumeria plants are actually little small trees that are native to tropical regions and the inspiration behind these is that Yumi's husband family is actually from Hawaii and she says that these are scattered all throughout anytime you visit there. So something that I really love about the color palette for these also is that they really almost sort of build up this Hawaiian sunset gradient type look. And you guys can tell they are just stacked layer upon layer here. There is so many beautiful colors, so much great shading packed into 
each of the individual plumerias and yeah, these are just, they're even better in person. One of the best parts about these is that these totally do not look painted. This absolutely looks like a pair of shoes that Vans might potentially release. I could see them having an entire line featuring this type of flower. I think that the longer you look at a pair like this, the more you can really enjoy them, the more colors you start to see. I mean, take a look at some of these neons. We have some neon orange featured down here. There's some neon pink packed into some of them. I mean, there is just, so much to enjoy about these. I mean, you just really can't help but be impressed by all of the different shades of gray you have packed up right up against all of those different shades of yellow. In each individual flower, there is so much going on. I also think for a design like this that it was a great idea to leave some of the panels unpainted. We definitely don't need anything here. We don't need any color taking up that sock line or collar. It was a great choice to leave those white. So overall, these are truly a work of art and I just can't help but tip my cap to you and say beautiful job on these. If you guys are interested in these being your winner, be sure to head to that link in the description and cast your vote for them. All right, so who do you guys have as your winner of the DCF Floral Contest? I'm just glad I don't have to pick a winner out of these four because I can truly see each of these pairs taking the W with this contest along with the $350 grand prize. We want to give a massive thank you to everybody who participated in this, our third contest, and give a big congratulations to each of these pairs that are still left standing for the final four. So be sure to head over to that link in the description and cast your vote for who you think should be the winner. The voting is going to be live for one week. It will end midnight, September 2nd. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead, give this video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you guys in that next video.